welcome everyone here to London Stadium for what should be a great, great match. We hope West Ham last season didn't quite get going against Liverpool. It was one of the few occasions where they didn't really lift it. Uh, this afternoon they had the chance to really rubber stamp their progress going into the international break and just show everyone how far they have come. The two captains on the day, Declan Rice and Jordan Henderson, who plays his 300th Premier League game for Liverpool this afternoon, have laid wreaths of poppies on the edge of the centre circle. And after the coin toss, we will take a moment to uh, acknowledge what's coming up with Remembrance Sunday. And we will have a reading of Flanders Field from Sir Trevor Brooking, the West Ham legend. And then the view. Robertson, another good pullback. If anyone's around that penalty area, uh, sorry, the penalty spot in the box, uh, they'd have a, maybe a shot on goal there, but cleared away and Antonio is racing away. He's got there before Van Dijk. Can he whip a cross in, Van Dijk? Stands up and gets a foot in, but it's behind for the first quarter of the game for West Ham. Well, that's something I think we're going to see a lot of. He's not happy, Van Dijk. He's, very dis he's got to be disappointed with his right back who went missing. He didn't want to do the hard work and go of Antonio. He's, he's allowed Van Dijk to come from the left-hand side almost to the far touchline to take Antonio. He does not want to do that. What a good chance early on here for West Ham with this corner in the fourth minute. Liverpool bring everyone back. To Salah outside the penalty area for them. Three West Ham players just outside the box. As in comes the corner. It's right on the goalkeeper. He's missed it. And it's in. West Ham United have the lead. Old Bonner is taking the congratulations. Allison is claiming he was fouled. I didn't see a foul. They'll obviously review it. But he missed it there, Allison. Yeah, I'm looking at the referee, the referee's reaction. He's waiting for something in his ear. He hasn't given any signal at all, the referee. He's waiting. Liverpool, and be honest, do, we wouldn't expect a goalkeeper to, go, to accept when the goal goes in like that, to accept it's not a foul. They're checking it. Ogbonna went up. I don't see any contact really with the keeper. Uh, that would have been enough for a foul from Ogbonna and Antonio. The keeper's not been strong enough there. No, Duncan no. Rice is having a right argument with him. I don't see any hand there. Yeah. It's a goal. It's a goal. West Ham United have the lead. No handball. That was pretty clear. Matty just rolls the ball under his foot, then plays it forward in between the lines to Henderson. Out to the right, he will go to Salah. Salah's cross is cut out by Suchet going back towards his own goal. And then... Antonio oh. trying to bring the ball out of control, just heads it straight down to Fabinho. Good spell this from Liverpool, in comes the cross and Schotter's header is only just under the roof of the net. Must have been only a, a foot or so wide or over. Maybe just caught the stanchion or the roof of the net, but that was it. A good first time cross and Schotter can be dangerous in those circumstances. It, it can be. And he will send the ball down the right, looking for Salah. Great first touch. Just cushions it down. And he's got support up there. We'll lay it into the path of Alexander-Arnold. He helps it on to the left of Robertson. Now Oxlade-Chamberlain dribbling into the West Ham penalty area. Sends the ball across goal. It's headed away uh, only as far as Alexander-Arnold. Coming in on the edge of the box. He's tried to volley that in. He's claiming he was caught as he was trying to get that shot away. He was a... Uh, very high volley to take on. He's looking up, smiling at the referee, I think, saying there was a definite foul. The referee is saying it's a goal kick. And we're seeing more and more of this at the moment. And he's yeah, held I back know, up. I know. It's, it's just, again not a bad injury. He's just got to stay strong, the referee, and not go for all that they're trying to do, Liverpool. Every time something doesn't go their way, like a shot, they're looking for the ne next thing after. And Ben Rahma is not there. His feet, he's kept his feet down, which is good. He hasn't gone high towards the ball. No. Ball to the edge of the box and uh, trying to get away there was Salah and the referee's given a free kick there. Again, it's one of those ones that we've seen 
throughout this first half where Declan Rice is saying I hardly touched him. Salah has gone down. West Ham have got everyone back trying to defend this free kick. Alexander Arnold. Oh, it's in! He's one of the best in the world at that. He just clipped it into the top corner. Fabianski was wrong footed. And Liverpool equalise through Trent Alexander Arnold. It's West Ham United 1, Liverpool 1, with five minutes to go to half time. Yeah, I'm just disappointed because it, I just don't like situations like that when players do what he done, Salah, there. They've done it, used the situation, and they've got a referee who has ma made a poor choice. Headed down by Alexander Arnold straight to Antonio. What was he thinking with that header? Now Ben Rama to Antonio, back to Declan Rice. Rice trying to move it forward, gets it down the line at Cresswell. Cresswell, can he whip it across here for West Ham? He took too long, Henderson blocked it, it's behind for a West Ham corner. Yeah, he, he did take too long, the problem is if it had gone early, there was no one in the box, a bit like Ben Rama's great touch, first touch, goes past Alexander, um, Trent Alexander, um, Arnold on the byline, looks, looks a lovely ball and there's no one in the box. Can they make something happen from this corner as they did in the first half? It's floated in dangerously after the crossbar there. Dawson was going in for that. Declan Rice was there as well. And it's Rice who think got the final touch on it. Onto the crossbar. Lovely delivery again. Oh. And it's onto the bar. It's Declan Rice. Any lower. Into the box and it's Mane arriving and it's saved by Fabianski, did brilliantly to stand up to that. It was whipped in from the left, Mane caught it first time and then Fabianski comes out and claims that quickly as Cresswell was shielding it to him with Salah coming in behind him. That was a ball played out to the left, first time ball across and Mane couldn't have caught that much better. No he was, he connected with it really really well and clearance to get it away up towards Mane. Mane trying to hold off Johnson. Johnson did really well to win no, that no. back, but then drags his shot wide, having got possession back around 35 yards from goal, and it will be a goal kick to Liverpool. We have 64 minutes on the clock. It's 1-1 here between West Ham and Liverpool. Only once before have West Ham had 20 points after 10 games of a Premier League season. That was under Slaven Bilic in 2015-2016 when they started like a house on fire. They, they actually won 3-0 at Anfield that season. As here come West Ham again. It's a brilliant ball through the middle. This is for Nels. It's in. They lead 2-1. And the roof comes off here at London Stadium. The Spaniard for Nels. And a lovely ball played in this half by Bowen. Seemed to take a slight deflection off the keeper as he hit it. But it still had enough on it to creep over the line. For a second time in the game, West Ham lead against Liverpool. There's a quarter of the match to go. West Ham 2, Liverpool 1. And I think West Ham deserve it because they've really gone at Liverpool. They haven't just sat back and accepted the fact that Liverpool are better than them. They've gone at them. And it's not about Jared Bowen. Jared Bowen is the one who's drove, he's driven through two lines of players and he's selected his pass really well because Antonio was offside. And it's that late run of four nails that he's just played it into and a lovely on the outside of his left foot and four nails has gone to the left hand side of Allison. he's got his hands to it should have been better he looks a little bit like Butterfingers goes to think underneath him but I'll tell you what I think they deserve that goal Andy really really do Antonio brilliant strength to win that ball back off Fabinho he anticipated it superbly and now they're on the break it's a three on three he's got to try and get past Virgil van Dijk gets it oh, and the save from Allison. absolutely critical I thought but the flag goes up anyway for Niles would have been just offside Antonio finally got the better of van Dijk what a good pass through to four nails. And even if it wasn't offside, Alisson kept four nails at bay. I'll tell you what, that was great by Antonio. It hasn't been a great afternoon for him, but I'll tell you what, it's moments like that that just makes you just see what a difference he's made to this team. Four nails through to Antonio. He's goal side of Van Dijk. Van Dijk gets he's back and gets the block in. And it's gone off the uh, Dutchman for a corner to West Ham. West Ham are suddenly all over this Liverpool.
Michael Rearguard. They're having a commitment forward, and West Ham are having a right go at them. He's come to life, Antonio, and he loves those balls through the middle. But you just want the men, are you going to beat Van Dyke for pace and strength? No. A back hill to Jared Bowen behind him, and I'm sure he was screaming it to him, saying, soul it, soul it, and he would have stepped onto it. Wow. It's a chance every minute or so at the moment. Can West Ham take one of them and give themselves the buffer that they so desperately want? Here's a corner. They've had some excellent corners so far this afternoon. Bowen sends it in. Zuma's arriving. Oh, it in! Would you believe it? Kurt Zuma makes it 3-1 to West Ham. This is dreamland. Liverpool can't believe it. Their long unbeaten run might be in tatters now. West Ham with 16 minutes to go. Are possibly getting another big scalp here. Same West Ham have had three corners, one they've scored from, the other one I think hits the crossbar off of Declan Rice and the third one, Zuma at the far post and he what a great header but what, the goalkeeping was poor, where was the main man maybe Matip or Van Dijk going with someone like Kurt Zuma, what a wonderful header and I think now we're seeing West Ham are going to beat Liverpool and they deserve so. Second half has been absolutely excellent. Look at David Moyes' reaction to that one. Now back to Henderson. Floats it into the box, headed down to Origi. Oh, great tackle again by Suchek. He's such an important player in that area of the park, not only for when he was getting forward more last season, but... You remember how Fellaini used to play for Moises Everton. He wins so many loose balls in that area of the park. Origi on the turn, left footed volley. He's put it into the right corner. And Liverpool have got another chance here. As Origi off the bench, flicked the ball up on the turn, rifled that volley into the bottom right hand corner. And it's Liverpool back in it. West Ham three, Liverpool two, seven and a half minutes to go. And that's what happens when you sit back. And I've been talking about Antonio, but Antonio has got to stay up there. He might want to come back, but he's got to stay up there just at least to take one play away, to take Van Dijk away, and maybe leave himself one against one with, Nat with Matip. They need, they need an out ball sometimes. No, Antonio. <laughs> Mikel Antonio given man of the match. Is there? head scratcher I can see some quizzical faces all around me here Paul <laughs> well I'll tell you what I'd love to know what game he's watching <laughs> even Stuart Pearce seemed yeah. uh, confused <laughs> by that one yeah blimey <laughs> I could maybe name you another four before that one at least hey look he's won a lot of battle of the matches and rightly so this season but yeah. I don't think this is one of the ones that he would have expected Referee, he's given it he's given it oh, oh no oh, I'm Benamino right on the edge of the D it looks fairly innocuous again that he, one he, he walks across and it's like he's trying to apologise that's the thing that does me I'd rather him go in and say oh, I'm right I'm and be strong about it he's not it's Suchek who's slightly further right than it was first half Paul but it's a very similar situation it's another really cheap free kick yeah it is it's a full of gold. but then sometimes you should know that you should know now what they're going to do so you don't give them the opportunity you don't you don't make the contact and you leave it up to them because all of a sudden that affects their heads then what they're going to do next if they're looking to fall over four minutes of added time here with another free kick for alexander arnold who Look scored near one post. earlier, he's going for the far post to Mane, heads it down just wide of the post! Alexander-Arnold can't believe he's not put that in. Mane, but he's headed it wide. And maybe, just maybe, that will be the moment that Liverpool will look back on. Well, I'm looking at Kurt Zuma, and Kurt Zuma is holding his head. He knows he has failed as a defender. Well, that will be about that time-wise, Paul. It certainly will be. And this could be a bit of a seminal moment, couldn't it, really, in terms of we've had these big wins lately against Manchester United, Man City in the League Cup. We've had a victory against Tottenham, of course, which everyone here would have loved. But this is a big one, isn't it, to beat oh. Liverpool in the current form they're in? Oh, it certainly is. It's a great one after what they went. They went to Old Trafford and they've got a point at home. They've got a point at home at Brighton and then they've come to West Ham and got beat. There's the final whistle from the referee, Craig Porton. West Ham have done it, they have beaten Liverpool for the first time in 11 games in the Premier League. It's been a long time coming, almost six years, but they've done it this afternoon. At times they would have felt even the 
officiating was making it difficult for them. But after the equaliser from Trent Alexander-Arnold for the own goal from Allison in the second half, West Ham really came at Liverpool. They got a goal through Pablo Fornals, who was excellent, teed up by Antonio through the middle. Allison couldn't keep his shot out. And then a first goal for West Ham for Kurt Zuma from another corner, which was expertly delivered by Jared Bowen. Liverpool got another goal back towards the end through Divock Origi. But on the day, West Ham had enough to hold out and they move above Liverpool in the table. They're three points off the top. They're level with Man City. Extraordinary times for West Ham and their fans. It's all over here. West Ham three, Liverpool two.